Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to show you the basics for setting up Simplify 3D for the Antamsis FunMat 3D printers. Now, don't worry, it's very straightforward. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to visionminer.com software and download our baseline S3D profiles. Now, these profiles have basic settings for a bunch of different materials that are just gonna help you get out the gate faster. So, the first thing you're gonna do is open up Simplify 3D. <laughs> We're gonna to go to visionminer.com slash software. You'll see here we have profiles for Cura and Simplify. We have a whole different video on Cura, so you can check that out if that's what you're using. Um, but we're gonna download the baseline S3D profiles just by clicking that link. I'm gonna see it down here. I'm gonna drag that to my desktop so it's easy to find. And then I'm going to open up Simplify 3D. So on the PC, I'm gonna go to File, import FFF profile and then we're going to grab the fun mat the vision miner fun mat HD basic profiles at FFF hit open and then it'll give me the message that says the following profiles have been successfully imported and are now available in the drop down list so I'm going to hit OK now here I'm going to add a new process because there's nothing there uh, and that'll open up the process settings so on this main screen you go down here and scroll down to the new basic Vision Miner profiles and not save my last profile. Uh, and then in here, it'll automatically change. And you've now got a drop down with several different materials and they're starting basic temperatures, speeds, etc., for the FunMat HT. So I'll go ahead and just select Ultim 1010. And then, really, what this profile includes. Uh, is you know just a basic 0.4 millimeter nozzle setup, the retraction distance you need, the retraction speed, uh, and layer is automatically set to 0.1 millimeters. Now, if you want to do a larger layer height, that's totally fine. You can change all these three perimeters, you know, top, top layers, solid, bottom layers, all this stuff. Um, additions, we got the brim going, the skirt actually going on there just as a purge offset from the part. Uh, an infill, you know, set to 25% or so, different outline overlap settings, uh, supports, temperatures. Now these are just set at, you know, 380 standard, 160 standard on the bed. Uh, you can change all these. The primary extruder is T0, and the heated build platform is T1. Uh, for cooling, obviously no cooling. Now this is where most of the work happens, is in the G-code tap. Uh, it's got the setup for 260 by 260 by 260 millimeters already set up, as well as the RepRap Marlin Repetier Sprinter selected for the G-Code uh, configuration. Uh, next, you have scripts, and these can also be found on the page. If you scroll down here, we've got our start script and our end script for the HT, uh, and those can be pasted in here if they're not already there, because the profile includes all that. Uh, obviously speeds, we're going at 35 just as a starting point. And then in the other tab, you want to make sure your filament diameter is set to 1.75. And then you can change the density and everything else depending on what you're printing. And of course the advanced tab is just there. So that's it. All right, so that's pretty much all you have to do and you're set up and ready to go. You hit slice, you take your G code, put it in the machine and you're good to go. Now, keep in mind, these are just basic starting points, basic temperatures uh, and settings for starting out on small parts. The more complex you get, the more you'll need to modify the profiles to work for your particular geometry. Uh, different parts will print differently with the same settings. Uh, depending on size, how far it's traveling, you know, the temperature and the speed and the thin wall behaviors, supports, uh, and lots of other variables. So be sure to start small, working your way up to more complex parts. Always, always, always examine your slice, your toolpath, your G-code before printing. If you notice something strange happening in the print or the surface finish, go back to your G-code. I guarantee you'll be able to spot something, you know, going off there, too many retractions. Um, and that can be modified with one of the thousand advanced settings in Simplify 3D to get rid of it. But most of the time, you'll be able to track down an error before you even print. And of course, remember, you'll indefinitely need to change things like speed, layer height, and temperature depending on your part and application. So start familiarizing yourself with the advanced settings, uh, examine your G-code, change one thing at a time and check it out and see what happened in the actual print. Uh, and a lot of the times you'd be surprised at the results. 
especially the advanced tab for thin wall behaviors. Another quick tip is that if you're having trouble figuring out what features do, or um, you're having issues come up in the slicer and you can't do stuff, Google is your friend. There's so much you can learn just from Googling that particular setting. You'll find forum posts, you'll find entire guides online, uh, but there's a lot of resources out there, both for Simplify 3D and Cura, that will help you get the results that you want. Um, and of course, never, never hurts to ask questions in the forums or on our website. Uh, if you give us a call, sometimes we'll be able to help you, but the fastest way is generally gonna be Googling it, literally thousands of forum posts and articles and blog posts all over the internet going way more in depth into both of these programs that'll help you a lot when you're mastering all the slicing settings. Uh, we'll be getting more into Simplify 3D tuning in the future, but for now, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. We're based here in Southern California, and you can email us at contact at visionminer.com or give us a call at 833-774-6863. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you set up for your new fun mat. Uh, have a positive day, and we'll see you on the next video.